Hi guys, my name is Venus Flores, fitness professional and health coach. Welcome to Wellness Diary channel. I'm super excited that you're here because on this channel, we get to talk about fitness, we get to talk about mindset, we get to talk about nutrition, overall health, everything you need to know in order to become a happier, healthier you. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my five core exercises when it comes to strengthen the core. All right, guys, so let's talk about your core. All right, so why is it important, right? Well, your core plays a major role when it comes to your day to day activities, right? Whether you're picking up something on the floor, off the floor, or you in the gym going hard, you know what I mean? Pumping those muscles, right? So the core plays a major role when it comes to that, right? So your core consists of your pelvis, your lower back, your um, hips and abdomen, right? So why is it important to straighten your core? Because when you straighten your core, right, you're helping the, you're preventing the body from injuries because your core uh, uh, work as a shock absorber. So whether you're lifting something off the floor or you pumping some iron in the gym, right? Having a strong core will help you brace better and prevent those unnecessary injuries because we wanna go to the gym to get ourselves looking our best and not worrying about some nonsense injury, right? So that's why we gotta strengthen these core muscles, okay? So also, when you strain your core, right, you're gonna increase your power outputs, right? So um, so when it comes to performance, so if you're someone who's into performance, you wanna go hard or go home when you're working out, right? Having a strong core, you're gonna notice that a difference in your output, not just in your core muscles, but as well as your peripheral muscles, such as your shoulders, your arms and leg, because guess what? When you're working out these legs, the core is working. You gotta activate those core muscles. You gotta brace these muscles, right? So we want them to be strong when you're doing those overhead presses, like, right? We're using these core muscles, right? Cause we don't want that back injury. That, that thing ain't cute, all right? So with that said, let's get right into the workout. The first exercise is the dead bug. It's a really great exercise. First thing you're gonna do is lay flat on the mat, making sure that you tuck your pelvis under, just like I'm pointing in the video, making sure that your lower back is flat on the mat so that we don't have gaps um, under our back is very important. Now you're gonna create an inverted tabletop with your body while creating a 90 degrees with the legs and the arm pointing straight up. And then um, you're gonna move le the legs and the arms simultaneously while keeping the lower back press on the floor. The dead bug works the transverse abdominis, rectus abdominis, and hip flexors and create a strong core contraction that gets more difficult the further the legs get away from the hands now if doing it like that it's a little bit difficult for you you can do a regression just like I'm doing in the video by bending um, the the knee a little bit and touching the mat with the tip of the toe so that would be your regression our next exercise is the glute bridge. Um, this move engage your glutes and your glutes are part of your core. Make sure to only lift your hips to the point where your glutes are engaged and not so far that you hyperextend your back. So it is important to tuck in the pelvis, right? Keep that core tight, creating that degree at the knee Keep that feet, the feet planted on the ground, drive your hips to the ceiling while squeezing your glutes at the top. Moving on to the forearm plank. This is an advanced full body slash core exercise. So it is very important to maintain a slight pelvic pelvic tilt at all times while also squeezing your glutes and thighs and maintain your shoulders over your elbow okay now if doing the high plank is difficult for you you can drop to your knees keep the same thing 
tuck in the pelvis, squeeze the glutes, right? Keep the uh, uh, shoulders right above the elbow. Moving along to bird dog, um, this move work all of the core musculature in the lower back paraspinals, um, which is uh, the long the long muscles that run down the length of your spine. Right, this exercise is very challenging. It's a it's great for stability and to improve balance. You see, kind of like you create that tabletop and you extend your arms and your leg simultaneously while keeping that core tight. Again, give me that pelvic, pelvic tilt right under so that you can create that tightness within your core muscle and improve the balance. Lastly is our reverse crunch. It is a great exercise. Um, the first thing we're gonna lay again flat on our mat, making sure that we have no gap between the mat and our lower back. It is very important that you don't feel that exercise in your lower back, that you're actually feeling it in your core. This exercise engage your lower abdo abdomens and obliques. So it's a great way to activate them, right? So there's different variation to this exercise. So by keeping the bent at the knee, it's easier. Now, um, if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, keep the knees straight while driving the hips to the ceiling. All right, guys. So on that note, that was all for me today. Okay. So hopefully you get to do these workout, right? Cause I want you to look your best and live in your best life. All right. Every day, seven day of the week. Ooh, 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 right. Let me know, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have been doing these exercises. What do you think? All right. So give me a comment below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right. It helps. All right. Really helps. And don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't done so, hit that subscription button below so that you don't miss out on all the amazing content that I will be putting out. With that said, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.